Okay, so now I'm setting the uh, the boot device in this system as the Kingston Data Traveler. And we're going to save to CMOS and exit. Say yes. And now it's rebooting. And we'll now let the system reboot. And we'll see what happens. I thought it said it could not. There we go. Okay. And now we see it. And here we are in the recovery environment. I'm going to say next. Now an issue we have here is we can't find the operating system or it cannot find the operating system. So what we got to do is load some drivers, especially the drivers we're looking for will be the uh, hard disk drivers. But in this case, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click next. And as it says, it cannot find an image system image on this computer. So I have to tell her which, which disk it's on. So that's fine. I'm going to cancel that. I'm not going to select a backup. I'm just simply going to say uh, cancel. And this brings us, it actually brings us to the recovery environment that we have. And there's the full recovery environment. And I'm going to go to the command prompt. And there is Windows PE. And from here, I could even run ImageX check that we'll see we have image X available to us and sure enough it is and that's the one we put on uh, earlier now again what we see here is going to depend on what system excuse me what we see here is going to depend on the drivers and such that were loaded and as I mentioned before the drivers for this particular computer for its disk system its disk controller needs to be added. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart it and then I'll go in and tell it to boot from the regular or excuse me, I'll tell it to boot from the regular hard drive and we'll be good to go. Thank you very much. Bye.